Welcome everyone to Code With Us. This is another Java tutorial. This time we're going to be learning how to get input from users. Well, two different ways on how you can get input from your users. If you haven't already seen the Java tutorial on variables and on if statements by Brad, then I suggest you check that out. Uh, the first way in which we can get input from user is by using something that is called a scanner. Capital S. And give their name. Equals new scanner. Put the parentheses. Close that. And inside of here, you just say system. Dot in. And you just notice it's giving you an error, and that's because if you click here, it will tell you you have to input the class for scanner. Once you've done that, there is no problem. Okay, let's move on. Once you have done this, what you do is you can let's just output something so we output the user favorite food uh, alright so we've got this and then we want to say uh, string variable string input and just say is equal to s which is the name of our scanner dot and you just say next line okay so what this going to do is once this main method executes it's going to create a scanner object then output that code there the statement to tell the user that we want them to enter their favorite food and it's going to wait for the next line to be entered and once it's done that's going to store into your text variable I mean your string variable sorry once you've done that all we've got to do is Then just we just output a message to say that we know what their favorite food is. So we just say we say a plus sign to concatenate your variable in your text. Something like that. Let's do that. Let's just give this. All right. So what you've done going to quickly summarize before we run the program. What you've done here is that you've created an object uh, of the scanner class and what that is going to allow you to do is take an input from a user. So but then after that we uh, output a line telling the user what kind of information we want them to input. After that we get a we get the scanner object ready so that well we let the scanner object know that we want them to uh, take in the next line of input from the user which it will then be stored into our string. Once we've done that, we just want to echo back out what they entered in a, in a statement. So, you know, once this is run, hopefully. Anyway, so if we run... As you can see, it's saying, what is your favorite food? And you can see you can type here. So, I'll just put some chicken, and I say enter, and you see, it's now got your, it's now taken in the word chicken, and I'll put it back out from the variable. Alright, that's just one way on how we can take an input. I'll also show you another way now, which involves using a bit of GUIs or user uh, some sort of graphical user interface let's just change this so it's not a scanner object anymore what we'll do is instead of a scanner we will um, just take this we just say we're going to use another way of uh, taking user input so what you go do is you type in J capital J capital O and the word option so J option pane capital P J option pane dot show input dialog and you leave the first value as no it doesn't it's just that all that is is to tell that all all the no var uh, value is going to do is just let um, Java know that you want this uh, graphical user interface to appear in the middle of your screen. That's all it's there for. So just keep that as no. You don't need to know anything 
us about it right now. And we just put in our question like this. Right. So once we've done that, we can we don't actually need any of these lines. We can just say something like this a string. So basically we've done what we did with the scanner in three lines. We, we can do it in one line with this GUI. And all you do here is you just say string user input which is your variable your string variable is equal to j option option pane dot show input dialog with no as the first parameter and your question or your little bit of text that you want to appear on the graphical user interface to let the user know what to enter that will be your next parameter or your second parameter after you've done that we want to now output this so we can just literally take all that off let me just say J option pin again, using J option pin for all of this, and you say message dialog box, just like this. And we can just put no again, that's the first one. And this should do exactly what the other one did, but this time we'll output a graphical user interface for us to enter our text in rather than in the tech, uh, command and line interface here. So if we click run. You can see it says, okay, import, it says, what is your favorite food? You just say chicken, say, okay. It says, oh, great, I like chicken too. So, yeah, that's two ways in which you can take an input from the user. I hope you learned something, and if you did enjoy the video, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you do, if you didn't understand anything, just leave a comment, and either Brad or I will get back to you uh, and try help.